morning. For breakfast, I made something extremely quick and simple. I made myself a peanut butter banana protein smoothie. Mmm. Mm hmm. I could inhale this. This is so delicious. Huge thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. So I've had Ritual in my life since the end of 2020. I started off using their multivitamins and then I switched on over to their prenatals for my entire first trimester. And so that's why I was really, really excited to try their essential protein daily shakes. So I'm using their pregnancy and postpartum formula, which has all nine essential amino acids and essential choline to help support me throughout my pregnancy. Pregnancy. Their protein shakes also have 20 grams of vegan pea protein and 250 milligrams of choline, which helps support brain health, fills dietary gaps, and supports bone health. It's in this delicious vanilla flavor that's handcrafted using direct from farmer vanilla bean extract that's sustainably harvested in Madagascar. The pea protein is from peas grown in the United States using regenerative farming practices. The supply chain for their essential protein is fully traceable. Like all of Ritual products, essential protein is soy-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, vegan-friendly, and formulated with non-GMO ingredients. If you guys are interested, you guys can get 10% off your first three months by going to ritual.com slash genm10. Just use my code genm10 at checkout and then you'll be good to go. I will also leave all this information in the description box, so please click it open if you're interested. So this is my first attempt at a chickpea tuna sandwich. I didn't follow a specific recipe. I just kind of put everything together. Let's give this a go. Mm. This is just like a really fresh, light sandwich. And the chickpea adds a lot of protein as well. I think this is a good first start. Next time, I'm actually gonna follow a specific recipe rather than just winging it. tonight's dinner, I decided to open this sundubu packet that I've had in the fridge for a couple of weeks now. I thought tonight would be the night I finally crack it open. It just comes with the bare minimum, so I decided to add some veg. I added some onions, broccoli, zucchini coins. I also added an egg because I thought that would be good. Oof, it is piping hot. Mm. Not bad. It's not as good as if you get it at BCD, but it's hidden the spot. For today's breakfast, I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I experimented and made myself a matcha non-fat Greek yogurt fruit bowl. We've got some hemp seeds, blueberries, bananas, and walnuts, and of course, a drizzle of honey. I have no idea how this will taste, so let's give this a go. Hmm, oh, that's nice. If you're a fan of green tea matcha, you're gonna enjoy this. All the time for lunch. This is my veggie stir fry soba noodle dish. Ooh, it is fire. I always switch up the veggies in here depending on what's in my fridge. So I didn't season it because I just use this soba noodle dipping sauce and I'm just gonna drizzle it all over. And then I'm just gonna mix it all up. And this dipping sauce just makes it really savory and sweet. Ugh, it makes everything taste so good. Mmm. I could eat this every day. The veggies add a perfect crunch.
cooked us up a Japanese veggie curry. Again, put everything in my fridge in this dish. I added a little bit of chicken as well for my protein. And then the rest, I just put it in my Tupperware for the rest of the week. And then I've got a little bit of brown rice. For the sides, we've got pickled radish and then radish kimchi. Ben has the same dish, but instead of chicken, I added deep fried tofu. It's a very happy boy. Thank you very much, my lovely wife. What a treat. <laughs> what a treat. What a treat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm. And these pickled radishes are so good with curry. It just adds a lovely crunch. Mm. I don't have anything too groundbreaking. This is my two egg veggie omelet. Inside we've got some red onions, green bell pepper, spinach, and I think that's about it. And a little bit of avocado on top. All right, let's give this a go. Mm. Mm -hmm. This breakfast is satisfactory. For lunch, we've got a deja vu situation. I'm having leftovers. This is the last of my veggie soba stir fry dish. I gotta figure out a good name for this. I've got my delicious soba noodle dipping sauce. Here we go. I love this. Who was I before I learned how to make this dish? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for making dinner. Of course, babe. It's the least I can do. Today or tonight, this evening, we have gone for a nice little truffle sauce aria butter pasta dish. Broccoli on the sides is a you know health it up a bit. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I love the large elbow macaroni. It's your favorite. It's my favorite shape at the moment. And it's so good with the broccoli as well. We just mm -hmm. steamed it. It's a nice balance. Love a bit of broccoli with pasta. It's not done enough. Mm -mm. Great addition. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. I just got back from my hike and the entire time I just thought I really, really want an egg sandwich when I get back. So here I have made myself a delicious egg and cheese sandwich. I also threw in some tomatoes and red onions. And of course, ketchup. Mm -hmm. Why is this so comforting? Today on my hike, I took a wrong turn and my two mile hike ended up being a four mile hike. So I'm hungry. <laughs> got an extremely quick and fast lunch today. I've got my favorite Asian salad. I sprinkled some chicken in and a tangerine. I've never personally added tangerines to my salad, but I've had it at restaurants and it's pretty damn good. Hmm, I always know what to expect. Mm. The tangerines are so sweet, wow. dinner tonight. We're just having leftovers. This is the cut ice and we've got a side of kimchi. Mm. Kimchi is definitely a must when you have cut ice. 
It adds a nice spice to it, a little tang. It's great. For breakfast, I made myself a spinach mushroom egg wrap. As you can see, I overfilled the wrap. It's at max capacity, but this is the way I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm also just gonna add some sriracha. Mmm. craving something sweet so I thought I'd have a little snack. This is my overnight oats with Rituals Essential Protein. Inside we've also got some chia seeds, goji berries, walnuts, and then I topped it off with bananas and blueberries. I didn't bother drizzling it with honey because the protein already is vanilla flavored, so it's gonna be good, y'all. Mm. This is the type of snack I've really been enjoying because it's freaking hot now. Like, I think it's 100 degrees today, so something cold, something sweet. Also, something that's really nutritious and good for you. This is exactly what I needed on this super hot summer day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hot minute since I've had kimchi fried rice, so I thought it was time to have it again for lunch. I just threw in some onions and zucchini and some very, very old kimchi that was ready to go. And then I topped it off with some seaweed and some sesame seeds. All right, let's mix this all up. Hmm. Oh, kimchi fried rice just takes me back, man. Ooh. I also cut up some seaweed strips. This is so good to make little little rolls with your kimchi fried rice like this. So bomb. Mm-hmm. Mmm. This combo, I couldn't recommend enough. Ooh, so tonight we've got a delicious Thai feast. First up, we've got a pad thai, an eggplant basil dish, roti, shrimp spring rolls, and a little tiny thing of white rice. It's cute, it's, it's tiny. Yeah, I didn't know it was gonna be this small. I would've gotten two. Yeah, it's a bit too small. Oh. This looks good though. It looks really good. I'm very excited. It's our first time eating at this place. Yeah, we don't get our usual local anymore. We gotta mm -hmm. find our new locals for Thai. Mm-hmm. Gotta give it a go, see what it's like. Okay. It's a bit of this. Oh. Wait for me. I am waiting. Okay. I am waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Just Cheers. Bit. Mmm. Oh, it's mm. 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 Oh my goodness. It also came with this sauce too. Was that with the roti? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds more appealing. Yeah, this one's better. This orange curry vibe. Mm. We realize Jen does a thing when she loves food. <laughs> you just point to it really intensely. Mmm. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> 